Hi, this is Dr. Bo Greer. I'm the program director for the Masters of Exercise Science and Nutrition graduate program at Sacred Heart University. I'd love to be able to come to campus so we could show you some of our laboratory facilities, but unfortunately due to the COVID-19 travel restrictions, that's just not gonna be possible in the next few months. And so while I'm sheltered in place in my house, I figured I'd make a quick little video, maybe telling you about some of the opportunities our graduate program may have for you. Our laboratory facilities are great. We have a 30 meter runway for gait analysis, we have force plates built into lifting platforms. We have an Alter-G treadmill. We have some equipment you're probably more used to seeing like metabolic carts and bot pods. But to be honest with you, I don't think your graduate experience is gonna be dictated by laboratory equipment or laboratory facilities. If you're interested in research, I don't think our equipment is gonna hold you back from anything you wanna investigate. But I think your experience is gonna be more dictated by one, your peers, to your faculty and their interests, and also maybe unique opportunities that any given program may have for you. So I wanna take a minute and just talk about those. On the clinical front, we have six affiliate hospitals we routinely work with. Our clinical coordinator is fantastic, Dr. Wendy Berkey. I have never once had a student come in in the history of this program telling me they're having trouble accruing the hours they need to graduate. Dr. Berkey does a great job at placing students and also making sure they're having a rewarding experience throughout their internship. On the performance side, we have a really unique experience. In, I think, a lot of programs, you get observational experience and you probably get experience in terms of maybe implementing another coach's program. In our particular program, we put you under the tutelage of head strength conditioning coach, Dr. Chris Fee. We're actually gonna assign you a D1 team, or I should say he's gonna assign you a D1 team, and you're gonna be with that team throughout the season, not just implementing Chris Fee's training plans, but you're gonna get a chance to design your own training plans for a D1 team. Of course, under the mentorship of Chris Fee, and carry those plans out. I think it's a really unique experience in terms of the autonomy you're giving, being given in a D1 strength conditioning program. And since I mentioned faculty, I may as well highlight a few. Spend some time on our webpage, look at faculty and look at faculty interests. I think it matters a lot for grad programs. But the, the faculty we've been able to recruit to Sacred Heart has just been unbelievable. We've been very lucky. Peter One on the clinical side, even though he has some strength conditioning background, he is a nationally recognized practitioner. Find anyone who's held an officer position, the ACSM or NSCA in the last 20 years, ask them if they know Peter One. He is the most knowledgeable man I think I've ever met, uh, humble as they come, but really uh, amazing that we could draw a practitioner into academia uh, and really let him run the clinical side of this program. And of course, he actually teaches performance classes as well. Matt Moran is another really interesting faculty member. Uh, PhD, he's a lower body biomechanist, but he actually has a, a history as a running coach. So not only can he code his own software, not only does he investigate a running gait and factors influencing running economy, but he actually designed his own training program, coded the software. It actually became the official New York City training program uh, in terms of marathon and half marathon training. We also, on the performance side, Dr. Chris Tabor, who's really kind of indirectly leading the side of performance. Chris Tabor, super interesting guy, young professor, super active in terms of research. He actually sits on the, the written exam board for the Collegiate uh, Strength and Conditioning Coaches Association, which housed the, the premier certification if you're interested in being a collegiate or a professional strength and conditioning coach. He's on the written exam board. Sacred Heart's actually the only university in the nation that's ever had two people sit simultaneously on that exam board. So I think our faculty is great. Check out the webpage. Make sure to email me. Uh, my email will be easily findable on the website, but it's greerb, G-R-E-E-R-B, at sacredheart.edu. If I haven't answered you within 24 hours, I didn't get the email. But here you go, and thanks for tuning in.